Hello and welcome to Total Health with Dr. Nick, where my purpose is to inspire, empower, and motivate you to live longer, healthier, and of course, more abundant lives. And today I've got a great video for you. I'm gonna tell you all about the eight, the eight, count them, most amazing health benefits of apple cider vinegar. And my prayer and my hope for you is if you don't get the importance of apple cider vinegar by the time I'm done, then I'm doing something wrong. Because I want to make sure that you are all using apple cider vinegar because it's going to be a absolute main staple in your home like it is in mine. I can't even keep it in stock. My kids just use it up like crazy. Anyway, before we get started, what I want to do is give a shout out to one of our rock stars out there. And this is from Mar. Mari says, Dr. Nick, your content is absolutely the best. When I began my journey in April, I was 36 inches. Now, almost three months later, I'm at 29 inches. I wish I had a 29 inch waist, mine's 32. I'm very glad I decided to get healthy. And I guarantee you, Mari, your family is glad that you decided to get healthy too. Since your video about exercise, I only did HIIT training. That's high intensity interval training. And my workouts are no longer, than, no longer than 40 minutes. Thank you, doctor. You are having a positive impact on a lot of our lives. And more, I tell you what, you are a rock star, my friend. You know, it's so important when you don't realize that many of the health decisions you're making for yourself or you think for yourself are really gonna ripple into other people's lives. And that's the most important thing to realize is that you matter, you all matter. Everything you do matters. Every decision you make matters. You make a decision today to eat right or get up and put your feet on the floor and get to the gym. Every decision matters, they all add up. So Mar, you are a rock star and you're crushing it, my friend. 29 inch waist, that's amazing. Anyway, so like I said, today's video is all about the eight amazing health benefits of apple cider vinegar. And like I said, my goal for you is to have you using this stuff every single day, whether you're drinking it, putting in food, salads, smoothies, Whatever you want to do, I'll give you some ideas at the end what to do. So you want to make sure you watch till the end because I'm going to give you a lot of great ideas with it. Also, too, if you like what we're talking about, make sure you like, share, comment, and, of course, subscribe and click that little bell notification so you get a jingle or something, some kind of notification every time we go on the air. So let's go ahead and dive right on in. Number one, it lowers your blood sugar. Well, I'll tell you, that's a super important one, especially when you're on the ketogenic diet. You don't like to have your blood sugar elevated at any time, but it's extremely good for patients with diabetes. And why does it lower your blood sugar? Because it helps with insulin resistance, insulin sensitivity. So many of us out here and you out there, you're taking in too many processed refined carbs. Maybe you grew up eating carbs. That's all you had as a kid. There was always cake on the table. Maybe you had cake for breakfast. Maybe you just lived off a of cake because it was a, a comfort food that maybe your parents gave you. And I know they loved you and they meant well, but I'll tell you what, it is not good. I remember reading a cartoon many years ago, and it was something I always put in my office for my patients to see, and it was a split cartoon. One side said, and, and I'm not trying to, put anybody down who lives in China, so please don't hear this uh, or hear it that way. But what it said was, there was an American family that said, a mom looking at her kids, make sure you eat all your food. There's children starving in China. I heard that all the time growing up as a kid. There was another split cartoon on the other side that said, a Chinese lady talking to her children saying, don't eat all that cake, you're gonna get diabetes like all the children in America. And how many times do we see that, right? Diabetes is absolutely exploding right now. And maybe you can relate. But one of the great things about apple cider vinegar is it will absolutely help your insulin resistance. So it'll help drive down your blood sugar levels. This will also help with weight gain. So there's a lot of extra added benefits and it doesn't take much, just a couple of tablespoons. If you take a couple of tablespoons a day, maybe right before each meal, whether you're having two meals or three meals, it is gonna absolutely drop your blood sugar levels and make you a whole lot more insulin sensitive and less insulin resistant. Of course, that's important because with the insulin resistance, you keep too much sugar out in your blood rather than driving it into the cells, and that's really where it gets used for fuel instead of stored. You want it used for fuel, and that's a big thing. Number two, weight loss. Huge. Everybody out there wants weight loss. Everybody, nobody I know that doesn't want weight loss. Anyway, very, very important with weight loss. What it says here, several studies suggest that vinegar can also increase satiety. Turns out there's a chemical in the brain that actually triggers hunger. So if this chemical raises in the brain, 
it actually sends a signal to your body that says, eat, you've got no fuel, you want to eat. When meanwhile, maybe you aren't really low on fuel, but your brain is thinking that. So what this apple cider vinegar does, it actually helps to inhibit that chemical compound in your brain so your body doesn't feel hungry so much anymore. And that's a problem with so many people on diets today because you just can't stick to it because you're hungry, you're ravished all the time. And so this is one of the great things that apple cider vinegar does. Not only that, it helps lose belly fat, waist circumference, Great for blood triglycerides. That's a big one we talked about in one of my previous videos. Sugar cravings, and of course, improves detoxification, which we're gonna talk about in just a little bit, how it does that exactly. Next, heart disease, blood pressure issues, cholesterol, oh my, all three of those. So anyway, does a lot of great things with this. And what it says is, studies in laboratory rats show that apple cider vinegar can lower cholesterol and triglyceride levels. Apple cider vinegar may also contain the antioxidant chlorogenic acid, which has been shown to protect LDL cholesterol and particles from becoming oxidized. Now, that's a big, important thing. If you've seen some of my previous, uh, previous videos I did on cholesterol, I talked about the cholesterol is not the villain. It's not what it's been made out to be all these you know, past decades since the 50s. Instead, it's what we do to cholesterol. We oxidize it, we damage it, we really destroy it when it comes to taking in our healthy whole grains and our carbohydrates. It causes the cholesterol particles to become oxidized and too small. So apple cider vinegar can help prevent the oxidative process from happening to cholesterol and turning good cholesterol into bad cholesterol, and that's important. Next, antifungal properties. Turns out a lot of the acids that are in apple cider vinegar, and there's acetic acid in there also, there's succinic acid, there's multiple different acids within apple cider vinegar, and it turns out they're great at antifungal properties, so athlete's foot, things like that. You might have a, an infection, you can use it for that. You could even use it for wound healing. Hippocrates used to use it for that. So you can use it for scarring, to help prevent scarring. So the kind of bacteria that actually cause acne, it actually you know, inhibits that kind of bacteria. So this is fantastic. Antifungal, great for your skin. You want to use it all the time. Vinegar has also been used as a food preservative. Studies show that it actually inhibits the bacteria E. coli from growing and causing spoilage. And we see this a lot. You have a certain thing like kimchi, which I love kimchi. I hope you like kimchi because it's fantastic for you. But kimchi you can keep in your refrigerator for a year or two or three. It really doesn't go bad. You've got the great bacteria in it. And also, too, it starts to form a lot of these acids in it. So very, very good. It also balances your pH. Now, that's a really big important one because, once again, your pH creates an environment on your body that other types of bacteria, funguses, molds, and things like that grow. I always say, if I was to describe to my patients a moist, dark, warm location, what do you think grows there? And of course, the answer is mold, right? That's what grows in an atmosphere like that, an environment. So when you create an environment or a terrain in your body, things like bacteria, yeast, funguses will grow. And pH is a big part of that. When your pH is not in the right direction or if it's too acidic, your body will form these different things. Not only that, cancer cells like to form in that. So you want to keep the body more alkaline. Alkaline is a lot healthier, fruits, uh, vegetables specifically help with that. So you want to use you know, that type of environment to get rid of any of these foreign bacteria and viruses and, and things like that you don't want. So raw organic apple cider vinegar is acidic, but when it gets into the body, it metabolizes as alkaline. And that's the same thing that happens with lemons. Lemons are acidic. If you have a cut on your finger, it feels like it burns it. You're thinking this is all acid, but when it gets into the body, it actually metabolizes alkaline, very important. Keeping your body more alkaline will naturally help keep your energy levels up and better able to fight off illness and disease. Next, detoxifies your body. Yeah, it's absolutely fantastic for this. So, Research has found that specifically helps detox the liver and that can help improve circulation. Once again, circulation is super important. You want to get toxins in and out, especially through your lymphatic system. You have to have great circulation for that. And so many of us are not moving enough. One of the things that helps with circulation is muscular movement. That movement helps to pump blood. It helps to get the lymph uh, system going. Your lymph system is a basic garbage dump or a sewer system for your body. Muscular movement does that. That's why when you see the soldiers standing and they're at perfect attention, they actually have their knees bent because if they don't bend 
bend their knees, the blood doesn't get pumped back up into their brain and they will pass out. So that's why circulation is so important and actually apple cider vinegar helps with that. Apple cider vinegar boasts a variety of healing processes for the skin as we talked about earlier and blood helping to remove harmful environmental toxins that build up in the body breaking up mucus and cleansing the lymph nodes, which allows for better lymph circulation and removal of toxins for cells. Just like I was saying, you've got to keep the lymph moving, you've got to keep the circulation moving, and apple cider vinegar helps with that. Not only that, it's a great antioxidant. We think of things like resveratrol, glutathione, we think of these powerful antioxidants, but a great one also is apple cider vinegar. So anytime we have too many reactive oxygen species, we call those free radicals, apple cider vinegar can help remove that. Why? Because they cause oxidative stress to your cells. And when you have oxidative stress in your cells, you age prematurely. That's why so many people are so huge, huge on getting IV drips of things like antioxidants to help slow the aging process. Well, you could just drink apple cider vinegar and it's actually pretty cheap. Next, heartburn and reflux. Who would have thought you're thinking, well, wait a minute, if I have too much acid in my stomach, why would I want to put more? Well, apple cider vinegar <clears throat> is fantastic for healthy gut bacteria, gut flora, especially if you get the kind that we're going to recommend at the end where it's got the mother inside. Now, the mother is the bacteria. It's the starting uh, bacteria that got the whole process going. So you always want to get the kind with the mother in it. It looks like a kind of slimy mess inside of it, but you want it. Trust me, if you shake it up, you don't notice it that much. But apple cider vinegar is very effective at helping indigestion, bloating, gas, and even heartburn by stimulating digestive juices that help the body break down food. The acids found in apple cider vinegar aid digestion by controlling the growth of unwanted yeast and bacteria in the stomach and throughout the body. Like I said, antifungal, antibacterial properties. So fantastic for a healthy gut. Now there are certain bacteria you want in your gut, of course. In fact, research says it's about 10 times the amount of bacteria in your body as you have your own cells. So you're basically a bag of bacteria, sorry, not to sound gross, but your body is a lot more bacteria than it is human cells and you've gotta have the healthy balance of the right kind of bacteria. Bacteroides versus Formicides, right? You don't want the, as much of the formicides as bacter, bacteroidetes. It gets tongue titled to say that five times fast. Anyway, next, the one we recommend, of course, is the mother <laughs> of all apple cider vinegars, and that's, of course, is Bragg. Bragg is amazing. It is the best of the best. And like I said, you want to make sure it's got the mother inside. The mother is the original bacteria that got the process started. So this is the one you want, and I'll tell you what. Like I've said, we can't stock this in my house. We just got two bottles the other day, and I went to go use some today because one of the things I love to do, and this is just one of the refreshing drinks that I like to have, is I like to take apple cider vinegar, put it in about, I don't know, 20 ounces of water maybe, maybe a little bit less, put a couple of tablespoons in there and some nice Himalayan salt. I love that salty taste with the apple cider vinegar. When I have just apple cider vinegar without it, it just tastes bland and you know hot. So. That, you know, that's the way I like it. And I will just chug it and I absolutely love it. And I've got my kids turned on to it now. But my daughter, Vittoria, Vittoria <laughs> is an apple cider vinegar monster. I mean, she just inhales this stuff. I look at her, she'll have a bowl of either sardines or, you know, chicken or, um, or uh, salmon. And she just has it swimming in apple cider vinegar and she just loves it. But you know what, I'm great. She's, I'm grateful she's using it and loving it too because it's so, so good. Now. What are the different things you can do? In fact, I'm going to be doing a future video on applications of apple cider vinegar. What can you use it for as far as if you have athlete's foot and, and acne and things like that? But the way I like to drink it, like I said, is right out of the glass. Some people do shots of it. They'll do a shot of it right before dinner. They'll do a shot before lunch or breakfast. First thing in the morning they get up. So one thing I recommend is two or three tablespoons a day right before each meal. You want to get fat burning going on have it right before the meal or right before you go to bed at night. Have some apple cider vinegar just to kick start that fat burning while you're asleep. How would you like to wake up weighing less than when you started? I love that. Sometimes I weigh myself when I'm about to go to sleep and then when I wake up and I'm actually you know, about a pound lower sometimes because your body's just burning through the night. And that's really what you want. How would you love to burn more while you're sleeping and not have to do it at the gym? I mean, that's a great thing. You don't want to just be burning it at the gym. I want to burn it when I'm home sleeping. That's a great way. 
Anyway, another thing you can do too, a lot of people will mix it. Bragg's, in fact, has some great drinks where it has some ginger in it, maybe some stevia, and you can make different kind of cocktails with it. So you can kind of experiment. Have it any way you want with any kind of drink you want. You can mix it in. But anyway, get that apple cider vinegar into your diet every single day, and you will thank me for it. I mean, people are dropping weight left and right on it. So anyway, I hope this is great information for you. I hope you learned a lot, and I hope you start incorporating apple cider vinegar in your diet. Anyway, I love and appreciate you. Thanks so much for watching. And once again, please make sure you like, you share, you comment, and subscribe. And keep those questions coming, because I always like to know what you want to learn more about. So make sure you tell me in the comments. But also, too, thanks so much for the testimonials. You are all rock stars out there. And everything you do matters, OK? You matter. And you can do this. You got this. All right? Anyway, have a blessed day. I love and appreciate you. This is Dr. Nick. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. I'll see you next time.